All right, right now we're getting ready to start our investigation here at this massive abandoned hospital. We got our new gadget that we're gonna be experimenting with, designed, engineered by Bill Chapel. This is awesome, it's a thermo band. It kind of looks like Iron Man, and it has a thermal flashlight on it. So when it senses different temperatures, it will change lights. But not only that, you can go from temperature to an energy scope. If we're walking down a hallway, and we feel like an energy come up to us, we'll take this device, we'll scan like that, and it'll give us a readout right here. And you'll see when I wave my hand in front of it, it will detect it. All right, this is it. We have to suit up in full respirator masks. It's dangerous in there. There's a lot of black mold, all kinds of nasty stuff. I'm leading out with a full spectrum camera. Aaron and Billy, you guys are gonna be following. Let's head in. Ready? Ready. Let's do this. Our audiovisual tech, Jay Wosley, will be monitoring our every move from a live nerve center. Because the most frequent reports are of a little girl, Aaron decides to use the thermoband to try to document her presence by measuring the temperature directly in front of his hand. I don't think it was right here. It was down a hallway. Right there. It was. It was this hallway, right? Oh, yeah, it's so getting hold colder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. It's getting really cold by me right now. 50 degrees. Can you touch my hand? Are you the little girl that everyone's talking about? Is there somebody here? We want you to come to us and talk to us. All right, we're going to do a review birth session right now. Just listen closely. Whoa, whoa, there was something there. Yeah. Play that back. Is there somebody here? Yeah, that's a, that's a woman's voice. That's a woman's voice. After analyzing this voice, it clearly sounds like a woman saying, keep talking. Is there somebody here? What? Oh, like a, yeah. like a woman. You can hear that, dude, real softly, but you can hear that. How do you feel? Oh. You all right, man? How you feeling, Zach? Yeah. Still hurting? Oh my god, dude! What? Dude, right <laughs> behind Billy. Whoa. There was a face right behind Billy, dude. There was a <laughs> face behind you. And it was, it glowed. It, it was, it was glowing. It was right here, I swear to God, it was right behind you. Look, how hot it is right here. Oh my God. You no, feel hot warm, warm air, warm air, warm air. It's right hot. Here. 51, 51. 69, 71, 59. Yeah, that changed. Right after we capture that very clear female EVP, I am absolutely terrified yet excited when I see with my own eyes the glow of a female face directly behind Billy. But what's even more amazing is that when I put my hand in the area where her face just manifested, the air is very hot, and Aaron's thermoband detects a 20 degree temperature increase. This validates that spirits can not only drop temperature when they manifest, but they can also make it increase.